Hey everyone, in this video I plan on showing you how I did my dirt tank. I want to say that dirt tank is not for everyone because it has its challenges like algae and requires plenty of work. The way I did my dirt tank setup is not the only way of doing it. I just wanted to share with you my experience with this dirt tank process and see how it will turn out at the end. So this is what I did. Um, I'm going to show you how I prepare the dirt um, and well right now I'm going to show you that I'm using topsoil and not organic choice from miracle Grow. and well I heard that topsoil is one of those other possible choices you can pick for for your dirt tank and well let me show you how I prepare what I do is I get this little screener here and I, then I would pour a cup of dirt from the bag and what I do is I would try to separate the smaller particles of the dirt from the big ones on top here as you can see and well and I just would just separate these so now I, I would have a more finer, more sand-like um, dirt and not have any of these little little chunks. So this is my first step that I want to share you with. I didn't think I'll show this part but what I tend to do is get a, a smaller shifter that is with smaller holes and shift the dirt that's been that has been already shifted and as a result what I would get is even finer some taste of dirt and and whatever that's left over tends to be these small little rocks so this is what I tend to do when I do my dirt okay so now I have the dirt in a cooler and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some water in the dirt stir it and maybe leave it overnight just so that the, the dirt can absorb the water and so that's what I'm gonna show you right now so here I got this dechlorinated water and I'm gonna start pouring it in and I'm not gonna leave it too watery but just enough to keep the soil moist so this is going to be the dirty work and well not everyone likes to do this I assume but when you're a dirt guy you get used to it all right so that's what I'm going to show you for now well now the next thing that I did was I got this Mex Mexican pottery clay it's a uh, it's a red kind and the reason why I use this is because well first of all it it uses it, it contains iron which is beneficial for the plants also it's um it's it, it binds the dirt like if if I were to uproot a plant in my tank the dirt that is mixed with the clay would basically float down to the bottom instead of being dispersed in the water column of the fish tank so what I did was I got I dried out small pieces of um, um, of clay and then I put it I put a whole a bunch of them in this container then I placed uh, I poured in water and then the clay got so soft and very um, well it basically turned into water so I poured it all in the in this dirt and I mixed it up very well by the way this is the container I, I used the clay to mix when to mix with the water so basically I just poured it all in mixed it up with my hands and now it's, the clay is one with the dirt now my next step is I'm gonna use stability here it contains beneficial bacteria it's just a, a way to jump start the, the cycling process um, for the dirt 
So I'm, I'm basically going to use this whole container, um, this whole bottle. Okay, right now what I'm doing is I'm building a wall of sand on just about all the sides of my fish tank. And the only side that I won't build the sand of wall, a wall of sand is on the back, only because of personal preference. And as you can see, I'm, I'm not really done yet. I'm still got to work on a lot. So let me show you the bag of sand that I'm using. It's the sand is basically artificial, and but it does the job well. And well, what I do is I, I basically would scoop uh, the sand from this bucket. I basically put all the sand in this bucket and rinsed it, just like the directions said on the back of this bag. And I just scoop it out and just. Just pour some some of that sand on the side there, and then I would like use this flat piece that I found lying around the house, and just just push it, just push it, just to form that wall. And well, I mean, I'm trying to be careful not to scratch the glass, you know, so I'm doing it lightly as possible, and it's it's a working process. Alrighty, so this is the dirt, which is mixed with clay, water, and stability, which is the beneficial bacteria that I poured in here. And I'm scooping some of it out, and I'm pouring it in the tank. And as you can see, I already started, but I still have a little more to go. And the plan is I'm going to try to pour about one inch of mud, and from there, I'm going to cap it with more sand, which will be the next part I'll show you. But come to think of it, before that, I'm going to put in flourish tabs, which I have here. And that's the next part that I'm going to show you. Alrighty, so as you can see, I already put about an inch of mud in the tank. And it looks like chocolate pudding. So. Now, what I'm doing is, um, as you can see, I'm putting some of these flourish tabs in the, on top of the mud. I'm just trying to see if I have enough, or at least I'm trying to um, spread them out evenly. And I still got more to go. Okay, so I just finished capping the dirt with, with, with more sand. And as you can see, I also filled it up with water, just for the time being just so the substrate can stay moist and now I'm just I'm basically done so I mean there's not much I can do but to buy new plants and well this is my dirt tank process uh, thanks for watching everyone and wish me luck